by Scott Guilfoyd David Hay 282, 26 KOs questions Tony Bellew's motivation for wanting to fight him a second time, because as far as he is concerned, it was a robbery the last time they fought on March 4th of this year. Blue 2921, 19 KOs beat Hay due to an injury Hay suffered in the sixth round to Achilles tendon. The fight lasted another five more rounds before it was stopped in the 11th round. Hay figures that Bellu is coming back to fight him possibly based on hatred more than anything else. Bellu is clearly no longer in need of money. The win for Bellu set him up for life in terms of money, as he is now a wealthy man and can retire if he wishes. Bellu, 34, was saved by Hay's injury. Without that, he would have been jabbed for 12 rounds and possibly knocked out. People rob banks to secure their family, Hay said via SkySports.com. Would you go back to rob that same bank again? Is your hatred so bad for the clerk behind the desk that you need to do it again? Bellu's motivations were clear, he wanted to secure his family. He's a multimillionaire, welcome to a very small club of British boxers who don't have to box, they are comfortable. I ask myself what are his motivations going into the second fight said Hay. My theory is Bellu is looking to get another payday by fighting Hay again, and I think he's hoping to get lucky. If Hay suffers an injury along the way, it might give Bellu a chance of winning depending on the severity of the problem. It would obviously need to be a really bad injury for Hay to lose to Bellu, because he's now as far or as powerful as the former WBA heavyweight champion. The fight could be over quickly in the first round if Hay goes after Bellu and traps him against the ropes. If Hai lets Bellu fight in the center of the ring without pressuring him, it's going to be the same type of fight that the boxing world saw in the first five rounds. In that part of the fight, Bellu was just trying to land single pot shots. He was doing a lot of running. Reed Wilder picks Hay to beat Bell Y had a hard time landing his right hands due to Bellu backing off each time he would try and throw something at him. Hay figured out quickly that the best way to beat Bellu was to hit him with jabs, as he didn't have the arm length or the jab to compete with him in that kind of fight. It was a one-sided fight until the six, when Hay injured his Achilles. At that point, Bellu was able to take advantage of the injured Hay. My motivations are for revenge, I want to be the best heavyweight in the world, said Hay. He doesn't want to fight Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder because he isn't big enough. So why go back into the lion's den I ask myself what are his motivations going into the second fight I don't understand why Bellu doesn't want to fight Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder. That seems hard to understand. If Bellu can spoil against Hay, then he can do the same thing against Joshua and Wilder. The difference is those guys are taller, and they would be able to do a lot of damage to Bellu with their jabs. Deontay would NT be content with just jabbing. He would go for broke at some point and start bouncing right hands off of Bellu's chin. Some of the rights would miss but while their reloads at close range after he misses. He doesn't just give up and wait for the referee to separate him from his opponents. Bellu will obviously be looking to grab Hay in a clinch if he misses with one of his right hands. Hay can take advantage of that by continuing to work while being held. I can't believe the analogy he has used, Bellu said. I didn't rob a bank, I got in a boxing ring and punched you senseless. Reed Wilder picks Hay to beat Bellu personally, IDIDNTC Bellu knock Hay senseless. Bellu only had two good rounds in the entire 11 rounds the fight lasted. That was round 6 and 11. Bellu was more or less controlling the fight after Hay was injured in the 6th, but WASNT beating him senseless at far from that. Bellu looked like he was tiring in the later rounds of the fight. It was probably all the weight that Bellu packed on for the fight. He wasnt used to carrying around the extra weight, so it slowed him down. However, in the 11th, Bellu got his second wind and went after Hay, nailing him with shots after trapping him against the ropes. It was at that point where Hay slipped and fell out of the ring. Hay's trainer at the time, Shane McWigan, had the fight stopped. I thought it was a dumb move. Hay was one punch away from knocking Bellu out, and it was crazy to stop the fight. Hay should have been allowed to get back into ring and continue fighting. It was a mistake on McWiggins' part to stop the contest. I love punching you in the face, said Bellu to Hay. David fell apart because I made him pressure. When he caught me clean he got the shock of a lifetime. So why didnt you blow me away because you missed like a clown? I continued to make you miss what you didnt think I could do. Bellu was fighting defensively and not really doing anything other than trying to make Hay miss. That's why Hay was able to control the fight with his jab. The reality is that Hay could have gotten to Bellu as he was willing to miss a number of shots and look bad in doing so. Hay gave up too quickly. 
Middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin didn't give up going after Saul Canelo Alvarez when he was missing him, with right hands. Golovkin made sure he stayed in front of Canelo, and he was able to jab him at will. Hey just needed to keep the pressure on Bellu, stay in front of him at all times, and he would have eventually had a chance to land something big. Reed Wilder picks Hay to beat Bellu in the rematch, he needs to take the fight to the inside, because Bellu is going to be looking to retreat and lean away each time Hay even looks at him wrong. He needs to forget about giving Bellu so much respect like he was last time, and instead go after him. In Bellu's loss to Adonis Stevenson in 2013, he was getting nailed with hard left hands from Superman. Adonis didn't care that he was missing an occasional left hand. He would immediately throw a left hand in close after his miss. Hay was giving up after missing a shot. Hay was also throwing his punches from too far away. Stevenson made sure he got in. Close enough range to throw his speedy left hands. The shots were landing on a frequent basis. It seemed like Stevenson did his best work when he was in close. He would nail Baloo with a short left hand to the head. It was devastating. By the third round, Baloo getting worked over by the stronger and faster Stevenson.